What's going on, guys? Brian Stevens here over at the National Real Estate Post. Mortgage Shots, good to see you on a Tuesday, Tuesday the 23rd. We are, I think we're first, we're through our first quarter. That's kind of big. I want to tell you guys, I want to talk to you right now about the fact that this mortgage market, real estate market, is it's changing right before our eyes. It's it's happening. I know that we keep hearing this, but what we really should be saying is, you know, what do we need to do about it? As loan officers and real estate agents, what do we need to do about it? You see, there's things in our control, things outside of our control. Uh, what your company does, you can't change that. The direct, what the Fed does, we can't change that. We can't change inventory. We can't change interest rates. We can't change any of those things. But it doesn't mean that we shouldn't understand what's going on so we can go ahead and navigate these waters. Uh, three things I want you to really kind of look at here, guys, is recovery, restoration, and redemption. I'm assuming right now as a loan officer or real estate agent, your business isn't exactly where it wants to be or you want it to be right now. It doesn't mean it can't get to where it needs to be even in our changing times. But we have to, one, we have to recover. We have to figure out what's going on. We have to put best practices in place. We have to restore. And then we redeem. And listen, any any good piece of literature that you're ever going to read is always about redemption. It could be a comedy, it could be a drama, it could be a tragedy, whatever you think. Your story, you're not done with it yet, we're on chapter six, and th these have happy endings. So I want you to think of, the th think of the three R's, recovery, restoration, redemption. This is where we want to be, this is what we aim for. Here's why it's important to understand what you can and can't control and what we need to do about it. Right now you're looking at a graph of the unaffordability of properties. I don't bring this to you to be negative about it, not an iota of that, but it does, it it's information that as a loan officer or a real estate agent, we need to know. These are great talking points with our past clients. Loan officers, these are great talking points with real estate agents, but it's what you do with the data that really matters. Are you going to execute the things that you can control? On the left-hand side, we see what our average wages are. On the bottom, we see what the average house price is. The bubbles are going to be the big, the biggest disparities. As our disparities get bigger over on the right that are turning from the dark blue to the black, that shows our least affordable markets that we have right now. And as you can see, those balloons are flying me and unaffordability is becoming a bigger and a bigger issue for everybody. Here's a question I have for you. Did you know that eight out of nine, the last nine times that the feds in a short period of time raised the fed fund rate by 4% that we into a recession nine times since 1961 so we've got a 40 50 60 plus year window to look at over here nine times since 1961 the central bank has embarked on a series of interest rate increases to rein in inflation eight of the times a recession followed i don't know anything about recessions but here's what i do know i do know odds and if you're a betting man and you go to vegas with these odds you're gonna make a lot of money it's no different than your business you can make a lot of money and the central bank is not that far away from what it considers a normal interest rate target of about 2.4%. So it may not have to move too far, too fast in ways that might damage the economy overall. However, we've already made the moves necessary. The moves that should eight out of nine times would, would now be nine out of 10 times lead us into a recession if we're not already in one right now. Here's how we know we're going in the right direction for loan officers. Here's how we know that we're probably just running down the road of a recession right now. Housing inventory is growing. This is interesting because when we look at new builds, new builds are down. However, over overall inventory is going up. Remember I told you these people kind of get these uh, these uh, these happy feet that want to move and start spending their money? One way to spend your money is to sell your house, isn't it? Buy that bigger house. Everything that I'm talking about is already taking in place. Weekly inventory changes for April 12th to the 19th. Inventory rose from six or 526,000 to 543,000. We're looking at 20,000 overall properties. That's good. The same week last year, inventory rose from 406 to 414. You know, so we're looking at uh, 8,000 over there. The all-time low since 2022 is 240,000. So we uh, about doubled that. So we're trending in the right direction here. Again, for us, inventory is a good thing for us. And our peak was back in... Uh our peak for 2023 was 569,000, basically 570,000. However, as you can see from the chart on your right hand side, if we go back to 2001, we're about half of where we need to be. So, yes, trending in the right direction. Yes, this could be a canary in the coal mine. National single family listings with price drops. Again, 2024, it's 32%. Back in 2022, it's 18%. Not a good sign for a recession, but a great sign for us. With the astute mind who's looking at this, especially if you're looking at investment properties, that means at least least 32% of the time. So if you're looking at three properties, you know, talk with your borrowers, talk with your realtors, educate your real estate agents, get in front of them, make them valuable referral sources by arming them with opportunity. Freddie Mac is proposing a home equity product that could unlock $850 billion in origination. On Tuesday, the FHFA announced a request for comment on a proposal to allow the government-sponsored enterprises to purchase single-family closed-in second mortgages when it owns the risk of the corresponding first lien mortgage subject to a combined loan-to-value of lower than 80%. Here comes the 90s, guys. 
Not grunge rock in the 90s. No, no, we're talking about 90% LTV. This is a big one. You don't necessarily have to go non-QM, even though some of those non-QM guys out there, like my partners over at Oak Tree, who kick ass, are already going to 90% cash out, even on investment property with bank statement loans. Yes, they do that. No, but I'm also talking about our GSEs, our government-sponsored enterprises. They're going to open up what they believe to be a trillion-dollar industry. Remember that strategy I told you at the beginning of this that you could do with either real estate agents or going consumer direct? Yeah. This could be huge. Equity slips, yet remains strong. This graph is actually old by today's standards because earlier today I saw one that says we're back up to record peaks in terms of the equity that we have. But here's a number that here's what I want you guys to understand when you look at this and everything we're talking about today. This number decreased from the third quarter of 2023 equity rich numbers. Equity rich is when you have over 50% value on your home in the form of equity. Your LTV is less than 50%. 47.4% of properties have over 50% equity right now. That's a massive number making it the st second straight quarter of decline. Again, it would appear to be negative news. Year over year, this figure is down from 48%, but what this fails to tell you is that 48% was the highest number ever. So yes, we're off the highest number ever, but when we're looking at equity-rich folks right now, you got a coin flip to get this thing right. What you have to do as a loan officer, as a real estate agent, is keep flipping coins. Find these people, find what they want to do with that money, talk to them about increasing their real estate holdings, be the ones to provide the loan, be the ones to provide the property, make it easy easy for people to say yes and you will close more transactions again here's an interesting one we can go ahead and we can look at our sales our median sales price our inventory and our supply these are all fantastic numbers sales are down that means our economy is slipping sales prices are up that does seem to really jive however what that tells us is we still have demand which is far outpacing uh, our supply lines our inventory is going up and prices are, and sales prices are still going up. These are great numbers for us, guys. And monthly supply, once again, is going up. Sales are going down. Why? Because prices are going up. Everything's going up. There's only one way to slice and dice this one, and we have pent-up demand for these properties. But we know, we know that these people are getting itchy fingers, don't we? That's why they're tapping into their equity. I'm saying go ahead and hold on to your house. Increase your real estate holdings. That's what all of these numbers, they're screaming at us right now that this is what we need to do. And hey, listen, again, you guys want to talk about anything. Yes, we've got ideas. We've got groups that we're working together with on this type of stuff. All you have to do is send me a text to 330-1272. That's area code 707. Reach out to me. And if you want to jump into my ecosystem where we have a seamless integration of what we do with our work and what we do with our strategies and opportunity on the outcomes of everything, you can have that conversation. Send me a text to 707 330 1272. With that said, my name is Brian Stevens. I look forward to talking to you guys in the future. Make sure you share this and make sure you leave me your comments down below. I'd love to know what you guys are thinking. With that said, 